Alright guys, uh, I just uh, finished a workflow and it's amazing. I'm, uh, I'm uh, like, uh, I'm astonished by the, um, by the results of, uh, of how much Confi UI can achieve. Okay, let me show you. Um, so I got a painter note. Uh, I'm going to um, maybe make a, a like a storyboard sort of a thing. Okay, and um, so for example, let, let, let's just do this. Okay, so for example, if I like a, uh, a sort of thing, so maybe let me just uh, uh, decrease the brush to 10 and uh, go all the way down. Okay, and there may be some sort of, uh, I don't know, fire. You don't need to like 100% correct, it just, you know, the fire coming out, something like that. You don't need to uh, like 100% correct. And it got some like um, the handle of the sword. Right, and uh, be something like this, okay? So uh, it will be like a scene, uh, or maybe a storyboard that uh, had the opening of a grand movie, and uh, the gray saw like a, and then all the like a shock wave, uh, like uh, and then eliminates all these enemies, okay? So uh, I just pen this, and uh, I, I, I will go through all this note. Uh, like note by note, so don't worry about that. Uh, I just want to quickly uh, round it so you guys can see. And by the way, I'm using the workflow uh, of uh, a Comfy Clouds, uh, which will be uh, like a um, like a Comfy UI run on Google's Colab. Of course, you can of course you know, replicate everything locally. I just do this uh, so I can you know I move a lot recently. Uh, I just want to like test it all the time, even though <laughs> I'm on the subway. Okay, uh, yeah, let's do this. Okay, here's the result. Uh, so I just got the here. And, uh, sorry about that. Uh, got interrupted by the kids. And uh, yeah, and uh, so as you guys can see, the result is amazing. Okay, so this is like the uh, painter note that I draw, and I uh, like put that to this latent image, and uh, then I got like the uh, the image that generated. Uh, of course, uh, it's not like perfect, but uh, it kind of sort of like anime style. Uh, the reason for this sort of output is that uh, I add a uh, like a, um, a negative prompt. Okay, I can uh, you know got this color of a negative prompt, and there will be like a positive prompt. Um, I use the positive prompt of like a two D game, so that, like I like to flatten things out and see how much uh, AI can do to make it like a three D. And uh, we uh, like uh, get our sort of photography 3D render, so we get uh, like a really flat <laughs> image, okay? And I pre-process the image a little bit, like I using this uh, processor got this image carved out and adding a uh, some sort of like a uh, uh, mask, so I can get like the the image carved out and use this um, to got. A, uh, a triple SR model. Okay, um, if you don't know this triple SR model, I introduced this model at previous video, and uh, after I made that video, I think maybe uh, you know, can I like uh, incorporate into a Comfy UI's workflow so I can test things out? And in fact, we can. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you how, how, how I did it. And here is the result. So here is a, like a quick modeling and rendering. Of our sword, oh my gosh! Uh, let me just bring all this back to here. You guys can compare the results, and uh, it's amazing. Uh, so I'm going to rearrange this a little bit. So there will be the drawing of me. <laughs> it's just like a quick sketch, of course. Um, I believe we can uh, uh, like incorporate that at least in Windows system. We can incorporate the Photoshop. And different layer, all this uh, like different maneuver to uh, our uh, Comfy UI, so you can like uh, draw that directly in Photoshop. And here is uh, like uh, the render result, and here is the like the uh, like the two uh, D uh, generation. Okay, so um, as you guys can see, you you can you you can adding a lot of control. Um, and uh, whether it's uh, like an immediate 2D concept illustration sort of thing, or you can use this as a, like a, as you guys can see, 
So this is like a like a 2D-ish storyboard that you could use at the 3D settings. I already can uh, see that you can you know use this uh, uh, like uh, in the blender, adding grease pencil, adding sort of animation, and then like a uh, uh, you, you can you can draw a guy like doing something like this, and then this guy just disappeared and then maybe explode something like that, uh, like sacrifice himself and then kill all these monsters and this sword like uh, remain here and you can add some uh, like effects like the, all the fire and uh, you can like move your camera like shake and move that a little bit so it will like a uh, like a uh, recording of the opening of some historical fight and uh yeah so we can get something like this oh my gosh that's uh that's just to blow my mind this workflow and i'm going to you know um uh i recently uh yeah uh, like uh, share every workflow that I mentioned in my uh, video so if you don't want to like replicate everything and go through all this video you're more than welcome just to you know just uh, download that and just uh, load uh, it's basically just like a JSON file and uh, if you haven't got uh, like specific node installed you can just go to the manager okay and you just install missing custom node and uh, they were all like automatically done there and then restart the whole service and everything will be fine okay uh, I'm not going to like replicate that, so note by note, I'll, I'll, I'll just quickly go through all this, okay? At a starting checkpoint, uh, I use the uh, SDXL base 1.0, dot .save tensor, and uh, yeah, basically, most of it is just uh, like a default, so it's a really, really simple workflow. A positive prompt, negative prompt, and then plug it into a case sampler. Okay, so normally, normally the case sampler would have a, like an empty latent image as a uh, like a random noise at the starting point, and then I got it here like a D noise, and then like an output using VAE decode, and then we got like an image. That's a, like a normal if you like click default, load default. That's the workflow for you. Okay, that's a, that's a very simple workflow. You don't need to like memorize any, anything, and boom, it's here. Uh, as long as you got this uh, like a config UI installed okay pretty simple but instead of just using like a totally no control except some like a random magic war prompt i can do something like uh you know like using painter note um like uh, if you haven't seen that already uh, i like uh, progress this uh, series of video like a step by step okay so uh you're more than welcome to to watch how i you know adding painter node, adding all sort of uh, like a node <laughs> here, okay? At a painter node, I upscale this image to at least uh, 1024 because that's the like, list requirement for uh, a lot of processing, okay? So uh, right now it's uh, like a really low uh, sort of uh, image, uh, low pixel, like a low uh, pixelation. <laughs> I'm not uh, sure. Um, English is not my like uh, mother tongue, so uh, sorry about uh, if I say something weird. Okay, I upload that, I encode it, and then I use this as a latent image, okay? And then of course you can fine tune the steps and the CFG uh, and all this uh, sample name, all that, you can like change it to carrots, all that, uh, doesn't really matter. And then you, you, you're going to decode, okay? And then you decode that, you can get at that image, but that is not all, because I'm going to use this triple SR mode. We got loader, we got sampler, and we got viewer here. Uh, viewer will be like the uh, like a like a online webs uh, sort of uh, like a 3D render uh, viewer, okay. And all this can be achieved by just go to the manager, okay, and install custom node, and uh, just uh, you know wait a bit uh, after it's like a database or like a uh, update, and you just uh, search for this uh, triple like a uh, SR or something like that, okay? Just install this, okay? The first one, and uh, you're good to go. You're good to go. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a custom node, uh, and of course, you need to install that specific, uh, specific model as well. And uh, let me bring you the model. Okay, so here, uh, I just got this like a hugging face. Uh, triple SR model. Okay, you just need to download the model dot CKPT and uh, you just like a right click and copy the link address uh, because I'm using like a web version, so you know, like one step ahead without just uh, you know if you like doing that locally, you can just uh, 
install that, like a pip install, something like that. Uh, for online services, like my resources. And uh, and the last step is like, uh, um, just just to copy paste like the URL, you just to copy it. And you got to, like a download the uh, resources here. You rename it, uh, just don't forget, you name it dot CKPT. Okay, and uh, then you're good to go. And uh, you got here, you select that specific model, and uh, you got this uh, like a model plugged to the sampler. And we got like a reference image as well as a reference mask. You just need to get this output image right now. Uh, not only just to save this uh, like image, using the image as a reference image, so you can like uh, generate 3D model from that image. And we got reference mask, and the reference mask will be the mask that we use to uh, use the, the image or removed background and uh, got that specific mask okay and this mask will be reference mask and then you got the mass generated and then uh, for like a preview purpose you know just uh, link the mesh all the way to this uh, like triple SR viewer all right and uh, then you can view this of course you can like a generator there like, like, like hundreds of thousand times until you find the uh, satisfactory results or you can export that to like a blender or whatever 3d software that you need to do you can like a retop um retop like a just to remesh a little bit maybe like you're like a sculpt a little bit okay or maybe uh, you know use like a grease pencil a little bit or maybe just to put that in a, like a scene and take a shot and use this as a reference or use this as a storyboard if you are like a storyboarder um, you, you want to like a quickly get like a really decent setting and maybe just some project you want to do that uh, like a presentation and raise money even uh, you can do that it's a really really quick workflow and uh, even though <laughs> you know uh, as a like a from a, like a game point of view it's like a garbage asset, uh, okay? okay? And uh, I believe that nobody will spend, say, five US dollars to buy this. But you can use it. You can you can work based on this. And you just, uh, you know, just a few seconds. As long as you got this workflow, like, uh, saved, every time you just need to, like, uh, open, uh, even if it's just your laptop or even just open a web service and just, uh, just draw, okay? Just to draw a little bit and uh, some prompts and then you can get a really decent uh thing that you can like a uh, work upon it okay and uh yeah i think that's uh, that's pretty much all for this video don't forget don't forget to give this video a thumb up and subscribe to my channel right thanks bye